Hello folks, Roger Daniel here once again for the Magnificent World of Toys. Today I want to share something that I just picked up um, a couple days ago, which is actually a pretty unique item. It's unique if you're an artist, it's also unique if you're into 1-6 skill. I mean this particular item has can have multiple purposes and what I'm talking about is this um, human skeleton by none other than Koo Model and it's pretty interesting I mean this thing's kind of heavy and I don't know exactly why I bought it even though um, I pre-ordered this I, I, I still cannot recall exactly why I mean even my vendor asked me what are you gonna do with it so what I want to do real quick before um, anything else I want to do I guess a quick unboxing so we could see what's inside and then we'll get into this a little further so pretty cool it has a couple of uh, warnings and instructions as far as how to move some of this stuff although this figure is supposed to be die cast metal you still want to be you don't want to assume it's going to be the most durable thing on earth so you want to kind of adhere to these uh, little directions and instructions that they provide for you I mean I've had a lot of bad luck with figures such as Fison's just moving them and forcing things into place and then next thing you know the arm snaps leg snaps and now you're stuck with a broken um, collectible and you don't want that Here we go. So right off the bat, you can see we have some additional hands. These hands aren't bendy or nothing. They're just kind of like plastic, very light, soft plastic, almost like vinyl. And here's, here's an interesting feature about this figure. Let's take him out. Oh, uh, he's a little heavy. Yeah, his arms, it seems, I'm not sure if his arms are metal, but yeah, it's uh, he's a little heavy. It's just kind of <laughs> a little weird. Um, I'm kind of afraid to really move anything. I'm not sure if his neck moves. It looks like it, it does. It's kind of stiff. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Now this is the interesting thing. Look at that. I guess um, his skull opens up for you to stick his brains in there. So that, that's a pretty interesting feature. Yeah, so it's cool. The jaw moves up and down, but you know, it seems that now that I've opened it once, it kind of won't stay closed. So that kind of sucks. I mean, you'll probably, if you want it closed, you have to rig it, but I mean, either way, it still moves, which is pretty, pretty cool. It has nice articulation too. I mean, these hands, I'm wondering if these are metal or bendy. It feels like they're metal. I don't know if I want to, yeah, they are, and, and you can actually bend them, which is pretty fantastic. Yeah, that's cool. So you could do all kinds of, you know, if you want to buy one of these and do a bunch of hand gestures or whatever, um, you know, that's pretty awesome. But like I said, this is actually, you know, pretty cool. I mean, my first, I, the, what I wanted to do is just kind of have an undead skeleton warrior, put a sword and a shield on him, and, and I thought that would have been cool, but actually, I've, you know, I've got a couple of other ideas as far as what I want to do with this. But yeah, if you're like an artist, I mean, this is probably something you can sculpt like on top of. I mean, you could probably use some Chavant or something. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not sure if, if if this is lead or metal or I mean, I'm, I'm really not exactly sure what kind of material this is. So. I would be afraid to bake clay over it because you know for all you know it may melt or or um, the paint will probably like burn off and, and crack your your um, clay and so oh, what is this all right well look it's interesting I'm kind of glad that popped out because it has a little tiny um, socket in there so you could probably just stick it back in there you know yeah I'm getting a little nervous so that this thing is just kind of like falling apart to the touch so you know, it's something you want to be careful with when you're playing with it and doing whatever it is you want to do with it but either way it's still a, a nice looking figure I mean it's there's many things you could do with this I mean you could just have it in the background like for some toy photography or something but yeah you can I mean sculpt on top of it you can use it as a base for the one six go action figure there, there's just many things you can do with it so let's uh, take a bit of a closer look at it I'm gonna try to stand it up and, and pose it and, and see what else we can do with it
I gotta tell you one thing, after unboxing him and kind of playing with him and posing him and getting those video shots for you, I gotta say I'm slightly more happy with this. Poses very well, I like his articulation. You know, and not only that, I thought it was pretty cool that in certain poses he was able to stand on his own, although I still recommend that you use caution when doing that. Basically, stand him up at your own risk. He did topple over a couple times, but um, you know, he fell, for me, he fell on a soft surface, so I didn't have to worry about him breaking. I mean, I don't think he'll break, but I don't know. He may break something else because he's a little heavy. Uh, or you may, like, a part may pop off and you may lose it. Aside from that, I just think this is a pretty darn cool figure. I, I haven't seen, like, a nice 1-6 scale posable skeleton body like this. I'm not sure I want to keep him like this. Maybe I'll do a couple more shots and play around with him in, in this form. Um, but I think I got a pretty good idea of what I want to do with this. I'm actually going to do some kind of uh, figure out of this and, and I'm excited to do that well if I get the confidence to do it if I gain the confidence to do it then I'll go ahead and do that and I'll definitely share it here as well as on my Instagram and so you guys can let me know what you think but yeah this is the cool model um, uh, human skeleton and it's pretty cool so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us uh, once again here on the Magnificent World of Toys. I hope you've enjoyed your Labor Day weekend. And um, don't forget, may those who play never gray. See you soon. Take care.